hello guys you're yeah, welcome to my channel structures pro in today's class we will be we'll be considering uh, beam releases if you stay to the end of this class you will know which beam to release and which one not to release and why we release beams if you have not stick subscribe to my channel i will beg you to do that now right away just take two seconds and click the subscription button and also click the the bell button so that you get notifications each time i post videos thank you okay for beam releases um the reason why we release beams are basically where we don't need moment to be generated for, to, for me to explain better let me um let me change the view select this uh, this this level yeah That's good. So we have primary beams and secondary beams. Primary beams are they are also main beams. They are also called main beams. So in this platform now, we have my column points. These places. This is where I have my column points. So the the water the water tank are going to be situated on these on these ones which are my secondary beam these ones are my secondary beams so the tanks are going to be stay uh, be staying on this secondary beam and this secondary beam will now transfer this load to the primary beam then from the primary beam the load will be transferred to the column and from the column to the ground so now when we release beams we release we do moment releases on secondary beams. Secondary beams are these ones and this one, this one, this one. So primary beams are the main beams. So main beams we don't do moment releases there. So as we as we go on, you get to understand better. So now let me on my uh, my node cursor select node so look considering this primary this uh, secondary beam here at this point i wouldn't like moment to be generated at this point of course you know that from from first principle this beam is going to transfer a load to this beam and the load is going to transfer is going to be in form of a point load so we are not expecting it to generate moment and that's just the simple reason why we do moment releases so we are going to release moment that might be generated at this point we also do that at this point we do that at points like this so moment should not be generated the beam this secondary beam should transfer a point load to this my main beam so for us to do that quickly we we go to specification my specification is already on the specification we click on beam make sure you are under release so we are going to do for start and end because each beam have um start point and end point so we do this for the start you come under here release you see f x f y f z don't don't touch this one this one is for vertical and lateral forces then here we have moment mz just check on this box we don't want mz to be generated you check the if you if you check the right hand side you see that the unit here has become faint so you're not going to be having mz at that at any point we assign this this command 
you see add click on add that's for the start point we go back again we check this other one end point we check this box again we click add so we now assign so we are going to select all these going to click assign to selected beams I'll select the start point assign if you notice this bubble that shows that we have successfully assigned it to that point so if you assign and you're not seeing the this bubble that means what you have assigned is not effective you have to check your command but here it will be okay so uh, for these other beams I also assign it at this other end so let me just select all of them and click assign good so for but for this other end now we won't we won't assign they won't, we won't release because it's a cantilever so at that free end we expect to have a moment so there's no need to to release it we is a cantilever a cantilever will always have moment at the free end so yeah so we're going to fix it there it's not going to be pinned that's another reason so we are we're making this place a pin a pin support so you just, just it will only transfer lateral load and vertical load which is point load so we select this one as well we click on assign good so we are done with this we go to the whole structure we still need to do the same thing at this level do the same thing at this level to view Okay, so these ones are my secondary beams. This one is a is a primary beam per se, but it's not really carrying much time. So I don't I wouldn't like it to generate to be generating moment at the column point because it just was it carrying. So I'm going to I'm gonna be re releasing the moment on this beam and as well on this uh, these beams yeah so I'll quickly do that select all these this beam select this one like this and I will assign to the selected beam mm -hmm. no this one is not at the right place so I will just undo Undo, 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 undo. Let me do it one after the other. Yes, that's good. No, I will undo. Yes, the the bubble is what is directing me. The 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 point at which it shows. Uh, let me know where I've applied it to. So if it's applied, if, it, if it's been applied at the wrong side, I'll quickly um, undo it and apply it at the right side. That's good. Then this one, assign, assign, this one, assign. Sign this one, sign this one. Yes, I'm done with here. Let's go back again to our whole structure. We do the same thing for the other 
platform. Yes. Select this without assign assign and here as good or sign this one is not correct change it and good we are done with here Okay. Okay. Select here. View. Okay. And to select this one, assign. Assign. To selected beams and this I'll click the sign here it's correct this one is not correct let me undo that's good for this that's okay one is not correct yes I'm done with this okay I go back to the whole structure and do the same thing do the same thing for this last last one view I'll connect this View. Okay, select this, 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 assign to selected beam, assign to selected beam. Is not at the right side. Yes. You can as well on on your put on your node numbers. Your node numbers will direct you to know the the starting point of a beam and the ending point of a beam. Node numbers will help you do that instead of doing it this way and on and on doing later. You just put your node numbers. If you see node one, you know. Node one is starting point, starting from node one to node two. Or if you see eight and eight and ten, that means starting from eight to ten. And it will guide you on how to assign your start and end release points. That's good. We are done with uh, moment moment releases. That's all about this class. If you know you have missed the, my previous classes, I'm gonna put the link up below because this uh, water tanks. Uh, um, stand is the project i picked to design from beginning to end so i started the, this project from beginning i modeled it i've loaded it i've applied all the primary loads the the the, the wind loads temperature loads the way i calculated the loads it is very is clearly stated it's clearly defined in, in my previous video so if you miss them you can just open up my channel go through browse through all the videos that i have there they're going to follow up and see what i have done so that you you get you get the full gist and the full knowledge i've actually um, um download combination using american code so a lot of things have been done on this structure and my aim is to finish the design as i've done the moment releases now the next one we are going to do in our next class is the member designs we are going to do member designs we are going to do a deflection check we are going to show you how you can uh, 
get your output what you should be looking at for in your output when you are done with your designs how to get your your utilization ratios your deflection your, your deflection uh, values and the rest of the lot of things that you need to get there uh, support reactions maximum support reaction member member forces a, a lot of things stresses a lot of things after that we, we do a uh, connection design you're going to do connection design we have start to connect if you look at uh, uh, if you look at this uh, icon here is connection design so once I, I I'm ready to do connection design when I'm done with the other designs I'll simply click on this icon here and it takes me to the another environment totally where I need to teach you how to do moment design share sorry um, moment connection design share connection design a lot of them base plates are cobalt stay tuned and you are going to enjoy this class if you have if you have if you are yet to subscribe I still beg you to click the subscription button so that you don't miss out. So you, you keep you keep into this project and learn for yourself. I'm going to I'm going to even do the the foundation design. Yeah, we're going to do you have foundation design. The AutoCAD um sorry, the staff will have foundation advanced foundation design. Once I click here, it takes us to foundation. I'm going to do path foundation. I can even do it as a math foundation. So you have options, you need to learn the both. It's going to be a, 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 a well educative class, so please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, StarPro, um, yeah, StarPro is the course I'm taking up. I want to start with StarPro, so I'm, 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 I'm going far with StarPro. I'll pick up another software. I'll keep on teaching and teaching on this channel. So even if you think you, are, you, are, you have known this one I'm doing now, there, there will still be something I will put in my channel in the future that I will need. So please subscribe, click the subscription button, click the bell button so that anytime I post video, you get notified. And please share, give me a comment, talk to me through my comment chats, my comment box, share my videos, like so that YouTube will always recommend my video to people who need them. When, when they notice people are liking my videos, they will also, um, you know, help to be pushed to recommend it to people. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.